Hi there everyone and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing, really fancy fan stitch. So it's a really simple two row repeat, so once you get going it's quite mindless. And I will be showing you step by step how to create this lovely piece. So obviously you can use this for a full blanket, but it's also going to make the most lovely scarf as well. And the width I've done here would make a really beautiful scarf. So as I say, it's just a two row repeat. You can use absolutely any yarn that you like and you can just use whatever hook size that selected yarn recommends. However, if you're making a scarf and you want a bit more of a drape, then you're going to want to go up a hook size just to get that nice soft drape. You can see we get some lovely straight edges as well and we're just going to jump straight in. So we're going to start with our foundation chain and our foundation chain needs to be a multiple of 10. So just groups of 10. So yarn over, pull through, it's one, two, three, four, five. So if you just complete your foundation chain in groups of 10. So once you've got your groups of 10, you want to add an additional two chains onto the end of that foundation chain. And because we're going to be working so many stitches into these chains, you're going to need a really solid foundation to build that on. So we're going to do just a row of UK doubles or US singles just to give us a much firmer starting point because otherwise these chains, if we work all of those stitches in, they're going to really pull them up and it will be quite gappy. So starting just in that second chain from your hook, so you've got one and then this is your second, you'll just do UK doubles or US singles. So insert your hook yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and the same into the next. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two. And you're just going to work that all the way along. Okay, so we've worked that all the way along now, so we're going to turn our work, and this is going to be our first proper row. So you're going to turn, and then you're going to insert your hook straight into that very first stitch. So straight away when you turn, straight into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up, and yarn over, pull through both. And if you're not 100% on keeping your edges straight, then pop a stitch marker into the top of this stitch, so that when you work back along on the next row, you know exactly where that end stitch needs to be placed. We're then going to skip four stitches, so one, two, three, and four, and into this fifth stitch, we're going to be working double trebles. So that's UK double trebles. In the US these are simply your trebles. So yarn over twice, insert into that fifth stitch along, go through the whole of the stitch, yarn over and pull up and you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I'll show you that again. Yarn over twice, back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two UK double trebles, but we want a total of nine all into this same stitch. So you want to do seven more all in that same space. Okay, so once you've worked all of those stitches, you're going to have this really nice exaggerated big fan. You're then going to skip four. Make sure that you don't miss the first one because it might get slightly covered by all your stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then you're going to insert your hook into the fifth one. Again, always through the whole of the stitch and you're going to do a UK double or US single. And then again, one, two, three, four, and you're going to do your nine double trebles into that fifth stitch. And then again, one, two, three, four, and UK double in the fifth. And you'll repeat those stitches all the way along and I will meet you as you get to the end. So as you get towards the end, you should be skipping one, two, three, four as normal, and then you'll work your final double crochet 
into that very last stitch. So your final UK double will go into that very end stitch after you've skipped four as normal. So that is how you will be looking. Obviously yours will be either the same as this or it will be much, much larger. So for the next row, so I'm going to count those just as our setup rows, um, but I will show you now this is going to be row one of your repeat because uh, technically obviously either row could be your row repeat but because I've been changing colours on the V row I'm going to count the V row as row one and the fan row as row two purely for the ease of the colour changes. I will of course show you how to change colour as well. So for row one of your row repeat you're going to turn your work and then we want to work a double treble height stitch but I don't want to do a chain four you can absolutely do a chain four if that's what you prefer but I want to do one of our stacked stitches that we like to do on this channel <laughs> so as usual you will insert your hook straight into that very first stitch and yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through both and then you'll go behind the left post of that stitch yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two and you're going to do that one more time. So again, behind the, the post of that one you've just done, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And that gives us a double treble height stitch, but without the gap that you might get with the chain four. We're then going to do another double treble into this same space. So yarn over twice, back into that same space you've just worked up from and complete your stitch we're going to do a chain three and then you want to skip to the middle treble of your fan. So the middle treble will be the fifth treble. So one, two, three, four, and this is our fifth. So you'll insert your hook again, go through the whole of the stitch and do a UK double. Chain three. And then in between your fans, you will have that UK double so you can see that just here and we're going to be working into that stitch so we're going to be doing two double trebles into that stitch so yarn over twice insert into that stitch and complete your first one and then again another one back in that same space chain three so row one's really quick one, two, three, four, UK double in the fifth. Chain three. And then again, skip the rest of the fan and you're going to work two double trebles into that double in between your fan stitches. That's one. And two. Chain three, one, two, three, four. Into your fifth stitch, you will do your UK double. And you'll repeat that all the way along until you get to where I'm at now. And this is where we're going to be finishing off. So you'll skip the rest of the fan. And then again, into that final stitch. So you'll have that beginning double that we did at the very start of the last round. You might have marked it with your stitch marker. So skip the other half of the fan and then two double trebles into that last stitch. One and two. Okay, so that is how you will look at the end of a row one. You'll have all of these V stitches separated with your chains. So at this point now, again, we will turn and this is going to be the start of row two. So I will show you row two in the same colour and then at the end of row two I will show you how to change colour like I have in that sample piece. So we've turned and then as always straight into this very first stitch you'll insert your hook and this time it's a UK double. So yarn over and pull up and yarn over pull through both. You then want to put another UK double in between these double treble stitches. So in this nice huge gap that you've got here you will just do a double. Again, make sure that you've marked that very first double that we did as we turned. 
At this point now we're going to start our next fan stitch. So we're going to be working all of our nine double trebles into the top of that double crochet which sits on top of that middle treble. So into that stitch you will do your nine double trebles. So all in that same stitch. Once you've got your nine stitches for your fan, you're going to go straight in between these two double trebles. So straight into the space and UK double. And then again, you're going to do your next fan in the top of that double crochet from the last row. And you'll repeat that all the way to the end of your row. So once you've completed that final fan, you want to do a UK double in between those last V stitch and then you also want to put another double crochet into the top of that stacked turning chain that we did. So into the top of that stitch you will also do another double crochet. So that is how you will be starting to look at this point. Now when it comes to changing colours you can either just finish off your stitch and then do a chain one, snip off and pull that tail out and then obviously you'll turn and you'll attach your new colour through the top of that stitch. Or you can join at this point. So when you're doing that final double crochet and you've got your two loops on your hook, I'm just using a random very subtle colour, not, <laughs> I've got this really bright neon pink, you can grab your new colour and pull it through and chain one and then just tighten those stitches down, so just pull on those ends to tighten that up. So if you were only using two colours, this also means that you can carry your yarn up the sides if you do it this way because you can just drop that silver colour and carry on, however if you're doing multiple colours like I've done on this one, you will need to snip off. So once you've attached your new colour and you'll be able to turn and then as normal you'll go straight into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through both and we need to work up our V stitches again so this is the repeat now of row one and then again behind the vertical post yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through both and one last time behind the post, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through both and then you'll do another double treble in the exact same place. Chain three, skip to your fifth and UK double. Chain three and then working into that double crochet in between your two fans you'll do your next V-stitch, so two UK double trebles. It's one and two, chain three, one, two, three, four. Your fifth stitch, you'll do your double. And again, you'll just repeat that all the way along and I will meet you one final time. So to finish off you'll be skipping the rest of your final fan and then you've got two double crochets so you've got the normal one which we did here and then you've got the one just next to it which is what we did when we turned. So you've got two doubles right next to each other and you want the very last one you're going to ignore the one that's immediately after that final part of your fan and you'll work into your very end one and again you'll do your v-stitch so your double treble two times. That's one and two. And then at this point again you're ready to turn and you'll repeat row two which is exactly the same as that fan row that we repeated a moment ago. So you'll be able to repeat those two rows over and over again and as you do you will end up with something that starts to look like this. So it's one that's great if you're changing colours but also works really beautifully 
when it's just done in a single colour or a cake as well. It would be really, really effective. But that is it for this tutorial. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this one. If you have, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment, let me know. And I will just see you for another tutorial really soon. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.